Hello, my interior design friends. Welcome back to Her Home Is. Now, in today's vlog video, I am going to be showing you how to professionally hang grommets that don't separate when you pull them. Now, if you want to see how to do just that, make sure you keep watching. This segment of the video is sponsored. It is sponsored by Noporo Magic Pro rechargeable light bulbs now they sent me these lights here and i'm going to include all of naporo's information down in the description box they do sell on amazon as well so you guys make sure you do check them out and click that link in the description now these lights you guys are multifaceted they are lamp socket and usb charging so you do have those two options when you're getting ready to charge these light bulbs now i would tell you beforehand i did choose these lights for use for me in my home for an emergency now i'm going to let you see what's in the box it do come with a set of instructions and if you know your girl you know we don't use those it comes with the hanging hooks and you get two of them because there is two lights in this package you guys it does come with the usb charging port your two bulbs and your remote now i'm just going to pull them out now you guys these bulbs do have a on switch on the light itself but i'm going to show you how it works as i give you some more information about noporo now and as you can see here you can adjust and change the color of your lighting you guys this is useful it does come in handy handy now once again for what i am using them for i think everybody should have some of these bulbs in your stockpile for emergency use as long as, uh, i'm sorry as well as just for your everyday use but i truly wanted mine for emergency use and you see i just pulled off the end of that bulb so i can put the hanging hook on them and you guys you can stick them anywhere just put a nail or you got a vent or anything these things will connect on and once again i will continue to reiterate i am using them for emergency purposes now let me tell you a little bit about the light and the portal once again they are a you can charge them through the lamp socket or you can charge them with the usb as you can see i am plugging them in and i'm going to let you see now you guys once i put these bulbs in the lamp i did not turn them on with the lamp i am using them with the remote this is to me the another good feature for these bulbs you can put them in a lamp and as long as you got your remote you can still control the light this is a great thing if you have an area that does not have lighting that you can use these lights in using that remote now once again they have a two hour fast charging time they are dimmable and they have a three hue shift they do have a remote and touch control and you're going to see that shortly they are wireless and they are backup for emergency and you once again you can use that hook with the light they do the remote uh, control switch and the touch switch for close range they are portable with a hanging hook and can be used as a camping light as well they are low voltage and they have no risk of electric shock now once again you can adjust your brightness they do have a tri-color which they're white neutral and warm along with the portable hook being dimmable the three hue shift and the remote control and you are able to auto charge on the socket you can recharge with usb and it does have a charge indicator on the bulb i will include the link down in my description so you guys do make sure you go over and uh check out noporo magic pro light drop me a comment i'll see you if you plan on picking up some of these lights and now our feature presentation I'm going to show you how to accomplish the look I am going for. Here are my two blues and my two whites. I'm just getting the grommets together. 
so that once we start hanging, we're just going to go with it. Use my rod. Now, you guys, we are starting from the end. And you do know you start all of the end. I do leave this end off sometimes to put it to the outside of the bracket. So you don't have that openness on the back portion of the bracket. But all I'm doing is I'm doing my reg regular gathering. And you know, typically we'll end right here. We would start the next bracket the same way, right? That's typically how you would hang it. But once you open it, what happens is it creates, and if you slide it, it creates gaps. So, if you want to open your drape and do not, and I mean do not create the gap from sliding it, you take this piece and this piece and connect it. Now, since this piece is going back, I take this next piece and I go under it. So, it's going to start. These two are connected. And I hope you can see that right there, you guys. You see? We have this one starts here and it starts inside of this one. And you just continually to do the same thing. I'm going to get my rod because I'm going to add the white to it. And I'm going to get stronger rods. Um, I do have a couple ordered for my bedroom. And as you can see, now this comes to the front. Now, same thing. Remember, the new piece always goes to the back. And you always connect those two together so that sorry you connect those two together so as not to have a separation so as this comes up you're just going to keep adding it the typical way when this get ready to come back we're going to take that final curtain once again the new one that adds on goes to the back same thing and you just continue to flow and when you hang these curtains once again you will not get that opening and you see how this is left here now when I get up to the top both of this one and the one on the opposite side of that pole sits up like this when I get it connected I'm gonna go to the middle and I'm gonna connect the two right here and they're going to connect right at my center bar so with that being said this is what we have and like i uh oh i'm sorry you guys yeah this is what we have i connected this one wrong because if you pull it it shouldn't separate you see here so let's go back i'll just slide this off I connected it on the back but they rotate. I'm going to connect this on the front. Yeah. And you'll tell, can tell if you got it right just by what you just saw me do. If you separate that curtain and they come apart, you, do, you did not get it right. So, There we go. Now, we're gonna reposition the angle of the camera. And you guys, these curtains are super heavy. Thank you. 
to put the end. I'm taking that end rod out, putting it on the end. That goes to the outside. Slides all the way in. And as you can see here, you guys, these were these two meat. You see that? That's what I was creating. And as you can see, I created that all the way so that if I pull these curtains back, they're not going to separate. All right. We have the curtains hung. I'm going to adjust them as I always do. All right. That is what the curtains look like set up. And you guys, with the drapes, because they are heavier, uh, I think the, the white is like a 75, 80%. 75, I think about a 70% light uh, 70. And the blues is like a 90, which they block out the light. I'm going to knock the light off. So during the daytime, because it is not quite noontime yet, um, but this is what the space is looking like, like that. So now let's get the space underway. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel Her Home Is for all of your home decor needs. We do home decor lifestyle and we do upload on Sundays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video.